Uh, I mean, to me, it's kind of been the same all camp, you know, we're lacking a few things. But, um, you know, I think everybody has the right intentions. So everybody has the right spirit about it. You know, it's just about more so, not about attitude and effort. It's more about just understanding and communication, which you can fix, so. As the attitude and effort part, because you guys talked about that a lot last year. Have you noticed the noticeable differences here? It's yeah, I mean, we're a group that everybody gets along with each other, so it's a little bit easier to come in here and, uh, you know, not sulk or, or when somebody does something, you know, you know people have your best interest, so it's a little bit easier this year, so attitude and effort is not really, uh, it's never been an issue with us all year, so it's really all about uh, coming together and just understanding the game, you know, at different levels. What stands out to you about the Pacers? The Pacers, um, you know, they play with a lot of pace. You know, I think um, Halliburton is one of the best young guards in the league. He's a, a guy that can easily get you 20 and 10 assists. So, you know, keeping him under control, he likes to push the pace. Obviously having Buddy Hill, uh, you know, one of the best top three, top four shooters in the league and makes every year. Miles Turner, uh, Benedict, the rookie. You know, I watched him in preseason, play pretty well too, very athletic. So, um, you know, every team has, has players. You know, this is not the old NBA. This is a new. Every team can beat you on any night. You know, there obviously may not be there be better teams or maybe bad teams, but um, it's talent across the board. So. What aspects of preseason you for the team, and what do you want to take into the first game tomorrow? You no, know, I think we understand that we can score the ball at the high level. Um, you know, offense got stagnated a little bit throughout preseason. Um, because different lineups playing different people, but um, you know, the biggest thing is we got to figure out what we're going to do defensively. You know, if we can do that, then uh, you know we're going to be solid. What are those things you need to take away from the defense? Well, I mean, we got to clean up the rebounding. Um, you know, we got to box out, we got to pack rebound, we got to run. You know, we spent too much time, uh, too much time this preseason, at least from how it felt taking the ball out of the basket a lot. So if we can uh, you know, get back in transition D, which has also been a huge, huge just mystery for us all preseason, um, you know, we're going to give ourselves just a chance. You mentioned you guys have a chance to score a lot of points. Um, can you speak to maybe the potential there and the depth you guys have in terms of scores? Yeah, I mean, we got a bunch of guys. We got, we got at least four or five guys that can go off the 20 at any given night. Um, I mean, that's a, a positive, but it, it's not a rarity. You know, there's a bunch of teams that can that have at least four guys, four or five guys that can do that. So, um, you know, I think the best thing about us is we have a lot of versatility. You know, you know when we put that all together and play on the string defensively, I think that's going to be something that's very loud out there. But, um, you know, until, until then, we just got to keep working. How do you guys make sure the efficiency matches the ball? Uh, I mean, just taking good shots, and I think preseason we've done an excellent job of, of creating, you know, open threes, generating good looks. Uh, you know, offense really hasn't felt tough out there. You know, I feel like we need to, you know, get in the paint a little bit more. Uh, but we generated the right shots. You know, it's all about obviously making them and uh, being confident when your teammate passes it to you or uh, you're shooting. I know you said that boards will give you the pace of play that you want, but is that the pace that you want to play with? Do you want to push because last year the pace wasn't really at a high level? Yeah, for sure, and uh, that starts with me. Um, just you know, rebounding, uh, rebounding, and going, and then getting on the break, uh, playmaking, and getting downhill. Uh, you know, I think that's going to be a big part of our, our, our transition offense. And then um, you know, everybody running, so which we haven't had a problem with in uh, you know preseason a little bit. It felt good out there, but uh, we just have to sustain it and do it for you know longer than two, three games. I have kind of an abstract question. Uh, you and Monte mentioned how you guys used to make yourselves in NBA Live. Yeah. Um, but you were a kid. You didn't know you were going to be 6'10", right? Yeah. Uh, how close did you get to making the NBA player that you ended up being? Oh, oh that's funny. Um, I always was so tall. I always put myself tall. At least six times, something like that. <laughs> but um, kind of. I mean, I was more athletic. I used to create myself. I'm not that. 100 for dunks. 100 for dunks. I'm probably like real life 75. You know what yeah. I mean? So I was 
over exaggerating a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Hey, hey, we was talking to Monte. He was mentioning how this team is using that underdog fuel. You know what you have in this building. Uh, what would be the message to people that may be sleeping on this team? I mean, it's not really a message to sleep on the team. You know, we got to prove it to ourselves first. You know, obviously, like we can, we can talk about it, but you know, we got to go out and be about it. You know, we got to come in and we got to we got to take respect from people. So, uh, you know, it's not about people are sleeping for us. We got to want to prove it to ourselves and then go take it from people because East is loaded. You know, it's gonna be tough to get to the playoffs. You know, every every team can make it to the playoffs. Every team can make it to the playoffs. You don't want to be just a playing team. You want to be one of the top six teams. So, um, you know, it's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be a dog fight for it. And then just to follow up, a lot of the players have been really competitive. How is that maybe about this team uh, going forward as well? I mean, I think it does. I think it adds a competitive juice to it. But, you know, we have to transfer that to the court. You know, certain, sense, uh, certain instances, you know, when teams are making runs, you know, we got to be just as competitive. You know, we can't, uh, you know, shell ourselves off for uh, get discouraged to other teams make runs because it's a game of runs. But, you know, for us, we just got to be able to have our hat, hard hats on and just, you know, have our competitive spirit high. It, it, it has been in practice for preseason, but, you know, we got to go against the lines, against somebody else to do it. So. A lot of guys have talked about the chemistry and camaraderie for you guys as a team. You said it, you know, at media day when you were on the Lakers championship team. You know, obviously that was really important. I guess, is there any kind of compare and contrast that you can do? Obviously, you know, you guys still have to go through adversity and that will be when it's really tested. I mean, it's all about adversity because, you know, it's not a great comparison. Like, the championship for 10 team, you know, it's, it's a long ways away. And it's not as easy as people think. So, um, you know, I think the biggest thing, you know, we have to focus on every day is just, you know, trying to get better and you know, build our habits because, um, you know, nobody wins the championship or gets to the playoffs right now in October. You know, you have to build that throughout the season, and that's what we kind of have to work to, to work towards. Wes uh, won't, won't tell us what the rotation is in the front of but uh, if, if Rui and, and Gaff are the four and the five in the second year, if they play together, how do you think they could complement each other and work together? Um, you know, I think uh, offensively they can do a great job. One can space, one can play low, but also, um, you know, you know, if Gap puts his, his hard hat on and focuses on offensive rebound, I think it'd be great. But um, you know, uh, they're just a, a physical group. Obviously, they have size, they have length. Um, you know, should get a lot of deflections. Should you know play with so, uh, a lot of size inside. So um, you know, it's pretty big and, and it's talented for a second unit in the NBA. So. Non-basketball question, I guess. How did you get into photography, and how have you been enjoying it so far? Um, I got into photography uh, this summer. My girlfriend bought me a camera, and then uh, I just kind of fell in love with it, and then just bought a whole bunch of stuff. And, um, you know, it's something that's just really relaxing and something to get your mind off of things. And, um, you know, for me, I, I, I'm blessed enough to experience a lot of different things in my life, uh, see a, a bunch of different people, uh, meet a, bu a bunch of different people, see places in the world. So, um, you know, it's pretty cool that I can uh, keep something to, uh, you know, have the world like see what's through my eyes in a sense. So um, it's really fun. It's cool.